Hey guys, this is Ian Alexander from RepairTech, and today I'm going to explain to you how the TechUSB hard drive tests work. So here I've got TechUSB in VirtualBox, and I'm going to just pull up the Automator application. And what I'm going to explain to you today is how these two tools work. Now, these tools are best used together, and they're used to determine the health of hard drives on your client's computers. The first one is called the HDD Smart Test. Now what that does is it first checks the overall health status of the hard drive and that uses smart which is enabled on pretty much every hard drive these days and assuming that passes then it will run a smart short test which takes approximately two minutes. Smart short tests test the electrical and mechanical performance as well as the read performance of the disk like it says here in the description. Now we've designed these tests so that it can determine the health of the hard drive with the least amount of effort and the least amount of reads, therefore enabling you to more likely get data off the computer if you need to recover it. So assuming that the two minute uh, short test passes as well as the overall health status, then it will enable it to run the HTD block test. The HTD block test goes through every single block on that hard drive and determines its health. Now you can configure one aspect of that which is the max bad blocks count. By default that's set to four. What this does is it says okay if I find a certain number of bad blocks on a hard drive I should just stop scanning. This can save you a lot of time. By default it is four like I said but usually when I'm scanning I actually set it to one. Just because if I do have a customer who comes in and they have a bad hard drive if I find even one bad block on their computer I'm, go I'm not going to give them the hard drive back. So it can save me a lot of time as a technician if I just set it to one. These two in conjunction can very accurately determine the health of hard drives. So I highly recommend running them together. Uh, like I said, if it finds something early on that is a problem, it won't move on to the more extreme tests.